Alright guys, welcome to my second ever Dark Tide build video. Today we're going to be doing the Crusher build in under 5 minutes, so if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. It means a whole lot since I'm just starting out on YouTube, but let's go ahead and get into this so we can get this done and out of here in under 5 minutes. First of all, you're going to take the Crusher. You want damage and power output and penetration are your most important three, but you really overall need a really high roll on the Crusher. Then for your perks, you're going to actually be taking plus 20% 25% flak armored and then you can take unarmored enemies is what I prefer to like so you can chew through hordes But you can also take maniac damage is really solid to take here as well For the blessings you want the skull crusher and hammer blow So hammer blow is giving you plus impact you can take another blessing if you want that gives you plus impact as well I personally partic particularly like hammer blow, but this all leads into skull crusher Which gives you plus three stacks of 10% damage which is 30% damage if you staggered an enemy so impacting and then Getting this damage bonus is huge for the Crusher, as you'll see. And then we take the Spearhead Bolt Gun, because this build particularly struggles with Carapace and Unyielding Enemies. So you take the Bolter, you could also run the Revolver if you really like that, but I prefer the Bolter. We get plus 80%, we get the 80% damage roll on this. And you take Carapace and Unyielding Damage, so you can really chew through those guys. And you take Pinning Fire, Shattering Impact. Particularly shattering impact is important because anything that gives you brittleness or rending on enemies is going to help you chew through crushers and maulers. And then pinning fire is the one I particularly like, but you could take cavaclade or something that increases crit chance if you'd prefer that. We'll go ahead and get into the curios. Uh, plus one wound on everything, uh, then take damage resistance to gunners and plus 5% max health, and then you can do whatever you want with the third slot. Really easy, really simple. And then we get to the talent tree, the meat of it all. Uh, so first of all, you're going to want Disdain, and we'll skip through these. You're going to come over here and pick your favorite ones. I prefer this path. You could switch Blood Redemption for Scourge if you'd like. Just something along these lines can make your results super bulky. You absolutely need Purge the Clean. Gives more damage to infested and unyielding enemies. Extremely useful. More toughness. This one you on Restoring Faith, you can take Restoring Faith or Voice of Terra. Super easy. The Immolation Grenade is by far the best grenade for the Zealot. It Gives you a ton of area to work with and breathing room if you're getting overran. Extremely useful, lets you stick good reses. More toughness, you're going to come down this left path. And a big part of this Marty Don build is you're going to be stacking as much melee damage as possible. And then you're going to be getting more movement speed. You're going to take all the bonuses you can get. So Disdain, melee damage. I t personally take this left side path here because you get more damage bonuses. But if you'd like to, you can take this right path here. If you feel like you're dying a lot, you can take these until death and Holy Revenant, that'll give you some more sustain if you're taking a lot of damage. Benediction, toughness damage reduction, always helpful. More toughness, that's why we're not running any toughness curios because you get so many, so much toughness just from the skill tree, the talent tree of the Zealot. Then we're taking Fury of the Faithful. This is so you can click F, fly in, and guaranteed crit enemies, and then you have two of those. So that's extremely useful for flying in, doing a charged up crusher attack, big explosion, super satisfying, probably kill something, super nice to do. More suppression, not, like the best thing but you always have to go through here anyways punishment and sustained assault are the two most important ones here that's because this is going to give you impact strength and this is really important the most important because when you're doing combined combo heavy attacks you're doing heavy light heavy light and doing these horizontal combos into hordes when you get up to uninterruptibles you're going to be swinging un uninterrupted through entire hordes and you're going to be knocking over like 20 dudes at once just doing tons of damage tons of breathing room this the point of this build is you never get hit in the first place it's kind of crazy then you have plus 10 percent melee attack speed which is really just more dps when if you can increase your damage per hit and also the rate of hits that's what's going to increase your actual damage output so we take more attack speed is great plus 10 percent health super useful plus two wounds because those two wounds when they're missing are going to give us another plus 16 percent damage extremely useful they take your marty dom of course plus all that damage super super satisfying when you're just chunking through dudes marty dom and this is another part maniac you get plus four attack speed per missing wound so you're missing three wounds is kind of like the sweet spot on this build when you're missing those wounds and you're really chunking through enemies it is so satisfying to be absolutely destroying guys so fast and then the i shall not fall lets you live a lot longer and easier when you're missing all of those wounds so that's pretty much it for this build guys guys i'm going to leave a link down below to a maelstrom orc video uh, mission that i did with this build and you can watch me chair through some guys but overall thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the content i want to bring you guys some more build videos and some more in-depth ones like this one as well where i go a lot more in depth on how i use the crusher thanks guys